So it is time, folks, to talk about season two of Truth Be Told. I watched the entire season. I loved it. I got a lot to discuss with it. Let's jump into the review of it right now, folks. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And as I said, we're going to be reviewing season two A Truth Be Told, which is going to be releasing on Apple TV Plus starting Friday, August 20th. Uh, it's 10 episodes. Each episode is about an hour long, and you have to stay through the entire season because you do not want to miss out on this. It is fantastic. If you love season one, you're going to love season two. And while this is an anthology series, which means that you don't necessarily have to watch season one in order to appreciate season two, I highly suggest that you do because some of the effects in your main character, Poppy, here is because of the things that are happening in season one. But season two comes back with new characters, a whole new story, and another season of a podcast. So you folks, I'm trying to tell you, this is this is a uh, if you if you love the first one, if you love murder mystery, especially when it's intertwined with a podcast, this is right up your alley here. But again, this is gonna be premiering August 20th, season two on Apple TV Plus. Now here, the 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 when somebody says truth be told, like if you ever heard that saying, it's basically used when you're admitting something one otherwise may lie about. So when you, th when you think about just the statement and the title of it, you start to wonder what does that and how does that imply into this season? Well, this season, Kate Hutchinson now stars as Micah Keith. She is a media mogul. She has a cult following to a T and she is childhood friends with Poppy. And Poppy, you know, if you don't know who Poppy is now, Poppy is your main character. She is, uh, you know, the host and the, the, the creator of the podcast that has solved the mystery in the first season and put her in a lot of danger. So now she's back and she's kind of weighing her options because one, she is devoted into doing that. But she understands the risk of doing it because everybody had a target on her back. But so uh, Micah and Poppy, they're childhood friends. And the two of them are put to the ultimate test. And that's to solve the crime of Micah's husband, Keith, who, I mean, not Keith, because that's their last name. I keep want to say that. Josh, uh, Josh Keith, uh, who was murdered. And, you know, Micah says, you know, I need you. You're my friend. I need you to, to investigate this because the cops came in and they saw it as a, uh, a, a suicide, uh, a homicide, a suicide, a homicide murder, a murder, a murder, homicide, a murder, suicide, excuse me, jeez. <laughs> and they, they quickly closed the case. And, you know, Micah did not believe that that sufficed. So she said, Poppy, I need you. I need you to investigate. I need you to do another season of your podcast. And that, that's that's a problematic for her because of all the dangers she encountered from doing it the first time and some of those dangers decide to come back into play season two um but ultimately in doing so poppy decides that she'll do it for a friend but this now puts the two of them on a journey where we see two childhood friends who might as well be sisters going almost I mean, turning against each other and ultimately wanting the demise of one another in the sense of still loving each other, but it's an all-out war. And we're going to see the two of them test it like no other. So this season really turned everything up a notch. Everything. Uh, every bit of this show felt elevated. The cinematography, the plot, the drama, the score, everything was brought to the next level in this season. Um... And when you when you when you think about Kate Hutchinson being a reoccurring character, you know there's another level of stardom here, and she and her presence as Micah Keith is really felt. And you know the fact that her husband Josh died in another man's arm ultimately makes this case even more interesting because they've been married, and you're like, well, who is this other guy? I've never seen this guy. I've never heard of this guy. And the fact that the cops has closed it so easily, it just never settled well with anybody. 
the first episode is so powerful and it really sets the tone and not to mention too it actually explores something that i really didn't think they were going to go down and that's what the character marcus marcus and they explore they explore some black trauma uh, which was kind of triggering to me but yet it was done in an effective way because we're going to see marcus who's no longer a cop who's struggling with the lifestyle and society around him and that includes his wife um and you know who they're in this middle gray area of wanting to get back they're divorced but they want to work it out and get back together and trying to find balance with that along with poppy who he just clearly has a soft spot for which ultimately makes that problematic for him but he's no longer a cop and so adjusting to that new lifestyle and the society around him being a black male ex-former cop it, it gets real and trust me it gets real it gets real um but much like everybody in this series no one can be trusted including the cops and uh and this is why it's up to poppy to really seek out the answers here in this case um and again this puts her in danger all over again and with so much evidence around this ultimately gives her fuel to really put forth the podcast unlike she's done no other and quite frankly with everything that's happening around her in her life she can almost make material from everything. It seems like drama and mystery just follows her in so many different <laughs> things she does. So if it wasn't this murder, she could have easily had another season about something else. Uh, but yeah, now that she decides to do the podcast, this also means that the cops are forced to now open up uh, the case again because it forced their hand. And there's a lot of crazy things happening here. Um, you know there's a stalker there's uh there's new friends new foes uh, things of the past traumas of the past family all sorts of different things are happening so the new season of reconsider joshua keith is going to be super interesting folks <laughs> i can almost listen to the podcast alone if i could um but her father is another interesting element to this season who's battling cte you have to see how that kind of unfolds and and how that affects the family and how that affects everything he does in the bar and everything so you're, you're gonna see um and you know much like season one you're just overly paranoid or high alert about everybody because you don't know who to suspect that's why the murder mystery element to this it's so good. It's the th like the thrilling aspect and just the inv the investigative uh, perspective of things. It's just so good with this. Um, and again, I, I again I don't think you have to watch season one, but like re season one does show you the repercussions of everything that happened. How does that come into effect this season with the podcast? And as much as I loved Aaron Paul in the first season, and I missed him, he's one of my favorite actors. This season truly doesn't have any slack and i thought kate hutchinson was an amazing pickup um and 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 re recurring actor uh for this season so uh what else i want to talk about with this too so th there's a there's a there's a lot of interesting things about these characters here in this season because eventually everyone starts to show their true color and their true nature and marcus happens to be the character that is just completely everything he's my favorite character this season and no matter uh and it's interesting that no matter how far apart his life and poppy's life tend to go apart they always find themselves coming back together uh and it's kind of cute but it's super dangerous at the same time uh and again everything she does in regards to that podcast is just completely trouble <laughs> but her skills are so beneficial that everybody wants to utilize them and she knows she's good at it um and the other thing is because she's so good at it she's obsessed and that's also a really tricky avenue to kind of dance around episode four is my favorite episode i believe this season maybe even six or seven i can't believe remember what it was but episode four surely is one of my favorites with just the action the suspense the drama how things unfold it gets crazy um, another thing to kind of talk about with Poppy here is that because we get to go back into her backstory along with Micah, we get to see her childhood and we get to see not only their friendship, but the trauma that the two of them have been through together and why they're so close and why, even though um, 
at times it seems like the war is against one another instead of them being together trying to solve the murder we see why they ultimately have love for one another and it's, it's a really good story arc between the two of them and it's interesting because poppy has a lot of secrets and it starts to make sense why she is the way she is um but the whole investigation aspects in regards to the murder mystery was okay but i really think that it was the development of the characters and the revelations of the characters and even some of the discoveries around certain things was the best part so while the facts and the evidence was kind of cool it was really like seeing characters develop that was the really like wow moments of this season um and the drama was truly the driving factor without a doubt um and easily the most interesting part for me um and even the character connections in a way that you just really didn't see coming <laughs> it was kind of interesting and also too like if you ever get like ultimately confused about what's happening i think episode five is a good middle point of the season it is the middle point but it does really refresh everything so that you're able to really keep track upon everything that has happened thus far so you'll be fine even if you can't keep up with all the facts and evidence the names and whatnot you'll be fine but this season was truly the war between two childhood friends to solve a mystery and the murder of josh keith and they're tested and marcus versus his new reality and then even if that means he has got to turn against his old brothers in blue and the finale is completely shocking that last moment that sort of cliffhanger that shocking moment will totally leave you devastated and i can't wait for season three so folks this is my complete review of season two of truth be told this was a fantastic fantastic season um i really really liked it i hope you all get the, a chance to check it out um you don't want to miss this one if you have a chance you definitely want to go ahead and check out um season one before season two drop uh i think that octavia spencer is just fantastic in this season and i think she works so well with the entire cast that it really just makes this flow so again, folks, this is Truth Be Told. It drops on Apple TV Plus August 20th, 10 episodes. Um, so stick around, check it out, jump back in the comments, let me know your thoughts about it. And until next time, folks, I'll see you around for more reviews very soon.